here are Paul and Kathy. Well, you either love them or you hate them, and we're talking about high school reunions. For some people, they kind of bring back painful memories of like the bell bottoms mm -hmm. and the really bad perms and the Farrah Fawcett do's. Or the afros. Yeah, from, you had a I huge had a one. Huge yeah. fro. Real thing, too, no special trips. No. Anyway, for other people, high school reunions are a chance to reconnect and maybe even make a love connection. <laughs> It's just fun to say. Yes. <laughs> you know, this morning we've got survival tips for anyone attending a reunion. Please welcome from Classic Reunions, reunion planner, Deborah Finnegan. Thank you. Great to have you here this Thank morning. Thank you. Nice to be here. Thank you. Let's, let's just start by talking about how do you survive your high school reunion. And different years have different kind of meanings for everybody. Seem like the tenure, we're all about impressing people. They are. I think first off, when you're approaching your high school reunion, there's a lot of anxiety, anticipation, enthusiasm, and a lot of fear. So everybody goes to their reunion with all, a lot of expectations. Right. But certainly at the tenure reunion, there's been a lot of change from the time that you're 18 until you're 28 years of age. And so they do want to go out and talk about these accomplishments, what's happened in those ten years talking about school their career possibly uh, they've gotten married and they have started their family so it's an exciting time for them and yes a little bit of a trying to impress their fellow classmates on what they've done and then the 20 year you actually planned my husband's 20 year that's right I did. Room. that's right um, so am I allowed to tell what year what the oh okay <laughs> sure yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm Very becoming high an school, old guy class of 80 class of 80 it was uh, a t our 20 year it was your 20 year and 20 year definitely you've been through the ropes the first yeah. time you go to the reunion you've never been to one before but at the second time you've been to your reunion less anxious and you're not out there really to impress you're out there to basically compare and share your experiences I'm um, certainly wanting to go back and remember those fun times in high school but talking a lot now about um, family and how you juggle both career and family um, and your home. I definitely noticed that at my 20 year. And what about 30? 30 are definitely about reconnecting. Um, you're established, uh, you're having a lot of fun in your lives right now. Um, oftentimes the kids are leaving home so a lot of the talk is about okay what are we now going to do that the kids are leaving going off to college. Uh, we've got some free time now. Yeah. Yeah. And it just continues then with the 40 and the 50. The 50, I would think you're just glad to be alive. Well, you're part of you're it like, is yeah. that. Yeah, woohoo, I'm ready. Exactly, <laughs> exactly. You know, I'm you, here. You know, the 50 is, the, I think, probably one of the most fun. They're so relaxed. I think they're grateful to be there, grateful to be in good health, and also the chance for them just to go back and be 18 again and remember these just really fun times with these wonderful people that they're with on that special day. What about some of the fears? Oh, I think one of the main fears is, any, is anybody going to even remember me when I go back? Will I even be missed? And of course, are you going to remember your classmates? But of course, we put pictures on their name tags, so it's very easy to remember those individuals right away. And we have a, we have a little clip from a movie that kind of illustrates oh, that, good. too, that really drives the point home. Perfect. You look good. You look Tony Robbins good, man. Yeah, so do you, man. How is that possible? I want to be a part of it. I know, I know, yeah. Well, could you? Why are you blank? Hi. You look great. It's Jenny Slater. Jenny Slater, yeah. How are you? Good. Yours has been really hey, good for you. Hey, Jenny Slater. Good for you, too. Hey, Jenny Slater. Hey, Jenny Slater. Really good. Hey, Jenny Slater. Paul. Paul's for Ricky. Paul. Yeah. Um, had 11, have 11 classes with you. Did the precious metals paper for you. Oh. Uh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Does that really happen where people really don't remember someone who's been around? No. I mean, if, if you went to high school with someone, and especially in most cases, you've gone to school with them from first grade all the way through your senior year, you're definitely going to remember these people. And again, you've uh, got name tags on with pictures. You may look a little different, but you're going to remember them. So don't let that be a fear. No, you know, you're going to remember. One, uh, one year I went to a high school reunion where, uh, you know, they give you a little, you write your own description of what you're doing now. And one woman wrote this like 20 page description of what she was doing, how she, all the great things she had done. Sometimes people really try to kind of embellish their resume, don't they? Oh, I think they do. But again, it's, it's going back to they're fearful of the fact that um, they may not have accomplished as much as anybody else. So they're, they're trying to measure up. We actually have a clip that kind of describes that. So let's take a look at that. Obviously, I've interrupted. Why don't you just go back to ignoring me like you did in high school? No, you can stay. We're just discussing our class success stories. So, what are you up to? Ever hear a lady for cigarettes? I invented the quick-burning paper. Wow. We have a whole class full of inventors. Meaning? Oh, you know, Sandy Frank invented something, too. Hey! Isn't that Sandy You're over there now? What does Sandy invent? Some kind of rubber. Romy here invented post-its. We did not. 
Yeah, I did. You did not? Yeah, I did. You did not? Yeah, I, well, who did then? A guy named Art Fry from the 3M Corp. We studied in business school. <laughs> Busted. <laughs> Big time, big time. <laughs> that's funny. We, and it's also about rekindling lost loves, don't you think, too, sometimes? You know, that certainly can happen, especially if you're single. I think people go back with some reservations. I'm not married. I don't have a significant other. other. However, this is a great time to go back and um, reconnect and meet um, some people and very possibly your next love or uh, your next partner or spouse. We just happen to have, as luck would have it, an example of that in our audience. Leslie Goheen and Steve Fowler met at a high school, a tenure, I believe it is, high school reunion uh, recently and kind of rediscovered each other. And they're joining us in our studio audience right now. Welcome them, please. Leslie Goheen and Steve Fowler. Now, I'm curious, could you guys tell us a little bit about your story? Well, um... Steve and I went to one dance in high school, as you saw from the picture, but that was about it. We were just um, friends, and then at our 10-year reunion, um, Steve was in Seattle, and I was here in Portland, and we just hit it off and um, started dating after that, and now, um, three years later, we're getting married in September. That's great! Wow. Oh, terrific! So, what was it about the, the connecting with him again? What did you see this time that maybe you didn't see 10 years ago? Oh, I just think that we were at different points in our life. Um, in high school, we were um, both involved in our own things, and now, 10 years later, we we're both kind of more established and knew more what we were looking for, and um, I saw a lot of the things that um, I wanted to date in Steve, so. That's great. Congratulations. Thank That's you. terrific. Thank you so much. And September is a great time to get married, isn't it? Yes, <laughs> that's, when we, that's when we got married. Yeah. Thank you so much, Deborah. And you want to say Classic Reunion? Oh, that's right. And if you're Thank interested, you. uh, I can vouch for these folks. They did a great job at, at mine. Classic Reunions is the name of the company. And the phone number is 503-626-3669. Uh, Deborah, thanks so much for Thank joining Thank you so much for having me. It's a pleasure. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. We'll have more of AM Northwest right after this. Stay with us. <laughs>